Hey, my name is Frederick. In this video, I will introduce you to reach product lab testing. And, and if you're based in the EU, uh, any EU member state, or if you plan to sell to the EU, then that's well, you should definitely be interested in the topic of reach testing. And in order to understand what reach testing is, then you need to know what reach is. And reach is essentially a framework regulation that uh, covers um, chemicals, um, heavy metals, and polluting substances. And it applies to consumer products, be it this polo or my phone here, or even a watch here, okay? Both the case and the strap. So it applies to, to everything. And as far as I know, it's the first regulation in the world that, that applies to all consumer products, all age groups, okay? And let's say like this. Now, as far as I know, this, this watch was never tested. Can't remember, to be honest. Uh, and if this watch contains substances, certain substances, lead, mercury, and so on, above the limits set in the reach regulation, then it's illegal to import and sell this product, okay? So the only way to find out if I can import and sell this watch in the EU, and yeah, this, this specific watch, then I need to get it lab tested by a third party, unless I have the equipment in the house, which, well, you most likely don't, okay? So that's what reach testing is about, about okay? Now, which product can be reach tested? It's not really about product categories when it comes to reach, it's really about materials, but you can test textiles, zinc alloy, steel, plastics, wood, coatings, anything really, okay? Because it applies to all consumer products, so they can all be lab tested. So, what you need to consider when, when you do re reach testing is the cost because it's well it's 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 not free of charge let me let me tell you that the lab testing companies which includes Chima here in Hong Kong uh, Bureau Veritas Intertech SGS and so on they charge you based on a number of materials and colors okay so i'm going to keep using my watch as an example we have a number of components we have the watch case right we also have the crown we have the glass we have a clasp and we also have the leather strap, right? Actually, we've got two different sides. We've got two different materials, at least different colors, okay? So just this little watch um, can basically be broken down into five, six, seven different components and materials, okay? So the more components and colors you have, the more it's going to cost you, all right? So, my estimation for this watch would be something around six to eight hundred USD. Okay, just to give you an idea what what it would cost to to get this wristwatch, including the strap, lab tested. Okay, so the more products you have, the more it's going to cost you. Now the thing is that Reach doesn't explicitly require that you get every single little thing lab tested. Okay. So the way our customers, many of which are e-commerce companies and Amazon sellers, the way they approach this is that they, they have a range of products. Instead of just having one watch model, they may have five, 10, 20, okay? They select a few SKUs. They select maybe one, two SKUs out of their entire collection, okay? That they get lab tested. Because that way, at least they've done something. It would be extremely expensive to get every single product lab tested. And the truth is that, well, you know, small businesses just don't have the resources for this. And, and even many big companies, retailers, they don't get every little thing lab tested. I, I can say that many, many big buyers are also struggling to understand what, what, it's, what it's about. So it really comes down to, it, it comes down to risk management, okay? Having a test report which is a document that you receive after the lab test is done, which hopefully will show that your product is, is compliant and non-compliant, is basically uh, as good as it gets in a sense that then you have one document for maybe one or two SKUs 
showing that okay they are compliant okay but if you get it for every single product then it would be it would be very expensive okay and it's not it's not mandatory it's 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 not mandatory and the way i understand it also depends on the company size okay the the regulators uh, they 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 expect more from uh, Walmart or Tesco or Aldi uh, compared to uh, a small scale importer doesn't mean you can just import you know whatever crap you find online and 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 don't bother to even consider this but but yeah this there's different degrees okay there's different different levels of, of of risk management because you have to weigh it against the cost okay now if you want to learn more about reach testing and you're on, on compliancegate.com then you can just keep reading this article if you are coming in from YouTube then you can also find uh, more information about reach lab testing uh, if you follow the link in the description so thank you for watching this video